Hello everyone, welcome back to Epify Lab and this is again another tutorial on Full Stack Laravel Videos Application Development Tutorial Series and in this video I'm going to teach you something very nice which you may not know already but some of you may not you may know about it so in last time we have a problem we had a problem about loading the categories uh, every time with our controller for the navigation item so here in index page we needed to load the category for navigation and also for the uh, categories as well and here in the block single we needed to load the category so it's extremely irritating uh, to load every time the data when your uh, view is required uh, require it so how can we avoid this kind of stupid stupid problems I know many people will decide to do is that call um, many people will do this way uh, I'm just writing a pseudo thing so so they will call the uh, server uh, database or model from here okay and then get the data and uh, loop through over it so that's really 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 irritating because this is not what MVC mean MVC mean is that your application uh, UI structure should be view structure should be the UI or the view should be uh, completely separated from the uh, backend logic okay the business logic it has to be separate okay you cannot mess around with your UI Okay, it's just a UI layer where you show the data and do the interactivity in the UI, okay? So how can we load the data every time this navigation is loaded? So if I go to the go to my uh, debug bar, I can see that how many views I have here loaded if I do the refreshing. So you see I have first of all loaded the blade.php file. So this is the file I loaded. And then I loaded a blade partial header, partial map blade, partial folder. So I have five, one, two, three, four, five, about five views loaded from uh, by the Laravel. Now, what I will be trying to do is that whenever a navigation blade is loaded, I want to call my data. So, for example, it it can be just a navigation data, or it can be just like let's say a notification and a message notification. And what's what cannot be here? I mean, it can be a lot of cool stuff out there in the navigation and lots of custom logic as well. So, how do we ever this kind of problem? So, in that case scenario, Laravel comes with a really nice concept called View Composer. So, now let's go ahead and try to understand what is a View Composer. So, a View Composer is can be a callback of method and classes or it can be a, a closer. So, how does it... Uh, uh, works actually so the view composer is that where you can decide whenever a view is com uh, is about to render you can call your uh, sub method some um, callback uh, functions or some classes and you can attach or bind uh, different data with your view or uh, with your view okay so that that is an awesome functionality is okay Laravel provides so if you go to the Laravel website you will see if you have a data that you want to be bound to a view each time that a view is rendered every composer can help to organize the logic into a single location so that is what we wanted right so Laravel has already uh, already done that for us okay so now let's go ahead and add that so we can have a uh, different classes for it but uh, it doesn't all fit so let's go ahead and add our own uh, uh, method here so let's say Laravel has added this way so we will be going to have uh, this exact same way but it's uh, referencing a different class but we will definitely reference our own classes so here you can uh, you can say uh, whenever the home blade is loaded you can load but home is not the option because in that case we have a home single contact gallery blah 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 pages so we have to call every time here so it's not a good idea so let's just load it for the um, uh, for the nav bar only, okay for the nav only but another thing is that you can define a wildcard here so that uh, this function or these classes will be called every time every a new uh, view is loaded but in that case it will be total waste because it will be called for this one this one so five six time it will be called so this is not an option so where our uh, navigation is located let's check it out so we have the navigation in the partial folder and then the nav it is called so we have to go to the partial and the nav and here let's remove all these things and uh, uh, go to the block controller so we have block controller okay 
So we are going to call something uh, whenever this navigation is loaded. We will go to the, we, we, we are telling the Laravel, okay, go ahead into the um, HTTP and controller and block controller, okay. So we need to, uh, we need to import this class block controller uh, before the view. So we are, uh, we have uh, imported this, cl uh, this class, which is important. Now, here you can see I have not defined any method, just reference the class that it needs to use. So how does Laravel know which method to run? So in that case, Laravel actually uh, described here that a compose method will be run. So we will take this compose method from here on. Okay, so that's pretty much simple things, nothing big deal. Laravel has it completely for you, I'm just telling. So that's nothing big deal here. So here as you can see, we have, and we need to import this view. Um, as well so input class and then perfect right so what do we do now we just uh, send the categories we don't need category here so what we can do is we can call the category here and we can simply name it just cat and then category name and all we need to do is just select uh, maybe id and category name that's all we need to, we need to retrieve and we can send the data like this perfect so we are binding the cat variable with the category data and now in our uh, now one thing you need to keep in mind this is only called when, uh, whenever only the partial dot never is called not anywhere else so this data will be only available on never okay N uh, nowhere else so we have to come here and instead of categories dot count now we can say cat dot count and then now uh, cat uh, snap so the now what we are using is that we are not using any categories here so you remove the categories from our con uh, other controller so we no longer require to go uh, call the categories and we can you know what this is a controller function method we can have lots of lots of logic out here and send and bind the data as much as we want so this is the perfect and best way to bind your data with the view so let's go ahead and check our function if it works okay we have a problem we have http block uh, so our um, reference was not correct we have to go app HTTP and then we have to go to the controllers folder right so let's go ahead now perfect our application is running smoothly now let's run the single page again undefined variable categories uh, where this category is being used yeah yeah we don't need any categories in our controller because it's no longer required uh, required so awesome perfect see we have the categories here and then let me check someone commented out that yeah awesome bye brother thank you so someone uh, on YouTube has commented that uh, the problem that occurred in the uh, in the last video because of the color was used uh, and the picture was getting hidden under the under the background color used so thank you uh, thank you for commenting this valuable feedback and yep yeah, keep helping me like this and we try to make as cool videos as possible okay so as you can see everything is working super the performing and you can see what queries have been run so you see uh, at the end the uh, category has uh, has run so that's really really awesome so every time you request something this category will be loaded super fun right okay so in the next video i will try to do something more cool about like um, going to the category pages and um all blog posts with paginations okay thank you for guys watching have a nice time good day